also understand that you bought a house. Yeah. So you're, you just don't stay in one spot. You just keep going yeah. and going and going. And good yeah. So talk about that journey. What, what did that involve? Well, that involved, I mean, it was, uh, I mean, this was after, say, three or four years, I think, that we'd been renting in the, in the city. Uh, so during that time, we'd had time to save, uh, save money towards a down payment for a house. Fortunately, we were, uh, you know, our, our agent gave us a lot, of inf- a lot of information regarding, you know, upkeep on a house and, uh, you know, ongoing costs and things like that, you know, insurance and how important that is. And um, so, yeah, we eventually were able to save for a down payment on, uh, on a house just outside the, uh, just outside the city. And uh, we didn't buy, you know, we didn't buy a mansion. We bought, you know, we bought within our means. Um, we bought the space, you know, only the space that we needed, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, my girlfriend at this point was pregnant as well, so obviously we needed to. Just, uh, again, your story. We needed, <laughs> we needed to. Uh, <laughs> just keeps going. Just add a little extra. Yeah, I mean, keep going. Why, why keep why keep things simple? Why yeah. keep things simple? Uh, <laughs> so you know, my girlfriend was pregnant at the time. So I mean, we didn't really know, you know, what we were getting into, really financially speaking. So I mean, we were careful to kind of be within our means and to be able to adapt to you know these changes. How do you do that? So it sounds like you there was a plan. So what is that plan? Is it a budget? Is it what was it? Um, I mean, at that point, we were we were budgeting. Well, I mean, we just bought a place, right? So already seeing that amount of money leave your bank account yeah, is yeah. quite overwhelming as well. So uh, so we were saving what we could and um, just making sure that we had a cushion available, you know, just you know for the unexpected. Um, started saving as well right away when my daughter was born. Um, you know, we opened up a, an education savings plan, so we've been paying into that ever since as well. I didn't hear about any of this until I met my. Uh, my significant other at okay. the time. So I had some, she, if it wasn't for her, I would not know about some of these things. So how do you come into a new country? Do you go looking for it or is, does it come to you? How does that information come to you? Um, well, I mean, I suppose, I mean, I did a lot of research, you know, before I came here on, you know, banking and, you know, how it works and everything like that. But um, I mean, I heard about it through my financial advisor. So you got a financial advisor, you found a real estate agent. Okay. That's right. So, I mean, they told me all about it and, you know, through my work as well, I was I kind of knew about the product as well a little bit. So, um, so yeah, I mean, once I heard about the grants, you know, it was it was a no brainer, really. Well, I got a lot out of your story. I have a you know a, a similar journey as uh, towards home ownership. I, I, you know, had a marriage breakdown in my thirties, and I had three kids, and uh, we were renting. And uh, really, the focus was, you know, like you know, a lot of Canadians are seeing today, the cost of renting going up but their income's not going up as much. Mm -hmm. So my focus was really to get into a home. So, you know, I had some support and guidance, uh, you know, with a a mortgage broker that helped me set a plan. And because I'd already owned a home, I knew that not only getting into the home, you know, finding the right home that that is at your right budget, but also the other things that go along with uh, running a home. So I did have, you know, like you said, a budget. So I had a budget, a plan, and really a goal that my goal was I needed to get out of renting into owning my own home. And uh, I know that, you know, the focus of this podcast is around, uh, you know, saving for the future. And uh, the only future was my primary goal was a home and saving for retirement just wasn't part of that plan initially. So, you know, I was uh, similar to yourself. I got my home, got the key, and I'm like, yes, I made it. I had priorities. So you yeah, had your oh, it was so, absolutely yeah. a priority was, uh, was to, to you were home okay ownership. with making that sacrifice for a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was difficult, uh, you know, hard on the kids because, you know, you know, the young teenagers, they want everything, right? They, 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 they see it, they want it. And it's, you know, trying to help them understand what the goal was, which was, uh, you know, we, we want to own our own home. We don't want to be, you know, uh, vulnerable that way. So, yeah. I did not enjoy making those sacrifices. I hated it every single time. Um, but I relate as I had student loans out of college. And uh, my goal, I was, you know, never planning to get married and have kids. So my goal was to just get that student loan paid off and then live fabulously single for the rest of my life. But (laughs) things changed. Um, So, yeah, I was just focused on paying off those student loans. And, and yeah, I found it hard when I saw friends going out or friends doing trips that I couldn't afford or new clothes, hair, makeup, nails. Um, But I knew I wanted to move past that student loan stage and I had to make that sacrifice. So, yeah. It wasn't fun, but yeah. you have you have to do it. Like yourself, Jackie, at one point of your life, uh, I had a marriage breakdown, 
And the transition from going from a dual income household to a single household is a huge event. And it's, it's a scary event because then you're like, because I, and again, I'm not the one doing the finances. It was the, the other person. And then I have to now make myself more open to it. The things that I may have wanted to avoid now have come to light. And I had to have, I had some very honest conversations with myself. I'm like, come on, you could do this. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you go through the stages of denial that you can't do it. And then you realize that you have to do it because there's no other choice. And then you finally get it done and you celebrate. So I went through that whole transition. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't matter what challenges uh, you, you're faced. I think that everyone has an opportunity in some way to keep your head up and do what you can. And, and it's just about doing those little things and making sacrifices. Like for me, it's, I've gone from home ownership. Now I'm renting. And I had to be okay with that. I had to be comfortable with that decision. And, and, you know, I was. Because it's, again, about the bigger picture, setting that goal and seeing where you, uh, you want to be.